Derek here, Rev Derek here, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, uh, and TikTok at Rev Derek um, Terry at Rev Derek Terry. Yeah. How you doing? So I'm doing this video because I had a little bit of a issue this morning with my sermon because somehow between my office and the pulpit, I lost my sermon. Um, so I used to do the iPad thing. It's my dog. It's probably a leaf fell on the porch. Anyway, I used to do the iPad thing. I used to um, do that, but it was a struggle. So I, I started printing it off front and back, trying to save paper. And somehow between my office, the copy machine, and the pulpit, a lot like I literally couldn't find it. So I had it on my phone, but I'm not young. So I struggled. So the sermon, I mean, you know, it, it went off okay, but there were some things that I didn't get to say because I couldn't see. And then the recording device that we use, I have a small broke church. I wasn't charged, my fault. And so it died somewhere in the middle of the sermon. So anyway, for the people who do the online thing, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the at-home version of the sermon with it before me. So if you were at church today, then you get it twice. You get two versions. Don't tell me which one you like better because it's all God, right? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I wanted to share that. Um, hope that everyone has had a awesome day. Um, whenever you watch this, have an awesome week ahead. Let us pray, Lord, that we ask that you remove me from this moment, that you send Christ consciousness to give each and every one of us whatever we need to hear so that we can do what we need to do in order to be who we are supposed to be. Help us to be your hands, your feet your voice, God. We love, honor, worship, adore you. Amen. So uh, if this sermon had a title, it's The Lord is Blessing Me. And I want to lift up the 91st division of Psalm verses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, God is is my refuge and my fortress. Surely God will save you from the fowler snare and from the deadly pestilence. God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. Each July in my childhood denomination, we would gather for a youth congress in a big downtown hotel um, with young people from our district. Imagine probably close to a thousand people uh, of all ages, primarily young people learning about race and social justice, um, church, God, uh, leadership, parliamentary procedure, and the like. We also had a big uh, worship service every night. Um, we would do fun stuff like go skating, have swimming parties with the kids. Um, yeah, but um, I digress. Uh, I was um, the Christian education director for youth uh, for a few years. And uh, I want to tell you about the very first year that I got to do that. Basically, Christian Education Director for Youth basically meant that I was the youngest clergy uh, in the district with the energy and desire to work with the young people. That was <laughs> that was pretty much it. Uh, but we had worship and, you know, they would rehearse while they were at this Congress. And so one year for worship, you know, this first year that I'm doing it, um, we sang a song. And of course, I wasn't over the choir, but, you know, helped to wrangle all the young people in. And they sang a song, uh, The Lord is Blessing Me. It's a pretty popular black gospel song. And I want to share... Um, this version and go. All 
right, so there you go. We sang that version. Um, the energy was high. The young people loved it. Um, you know, it was it was pretty awesome. I was so proud that we were able to do this and that they sounded so good and uh, people were really into it. My whole family was there. Uh, yeah, it was just really dope. It was excited. And I was really excited. My grandmother was there because she enjoyed it. The energy was high. She was clapping. My grandmother was always like uh, extremely animated in church. Uh, so that Congress goes on, let's say, from like Tuesday to Friday or Saturday. Fast forward to Sunday with my family at dinner. And I was just thinking about that song and I started singing it. You know, my aunt, who's just a few years older than me, she kind of joined in. And we started singing, you know, the Lord dun, 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 is blessing me bum, 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 right now. Bum, 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 oh, right now. Like we were like, you know, doing that. And my grandma was like, mm, I meant to tell y'all. Uh, yeah, that ain't how that song goes. And, you know, it was all right, and, you know, it was nice with the young people, but, you know, that, that that ain't how it goes. And all of a sudden, she was like, gotta take a deep breath. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. And I was like, if you and my eye just kind of looked at each other, and the next thing you know, we bust out laughing because I was like, girl, it's taking you 30 seconds just to sing the Lord. <laughs> like, you know, she was dragging it. Um, all that to say that uh, while we had different generations connected to the song differently and at different tempos, the lyrics touched us all. The Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. I said the Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. God woke me up this morning, started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me right now, oh, right now. God woke me up this morning. I was clothed in my right mind. God didn't let me sleep too late. God woke me, woke me, woke me right on time. God woke me up this morning, started me on my way. The Lord is blessing me right now. A simple song. Full of things that perhaps we take for granted, waking up, starting our day, not sleeping too late. But when you dig deeper into the meaning of the lyrics, you understand that it is a declaration that God is always with us, helping us, aiding us, and protecting us. Actually, it is a personal declaration that God is always with me, helping me, aiding me, protecting me. The Lord is blessing me. Right now, a few seconds later, oh, right now. Sometimes with life and with stuff that goes on in the world, in our heads, with our health, on our jobs, in our communities, on with our families and with our friends, with the pandemic, with food prices, with pain and sorrow, grief, despair, hardship, suffering, which is life in general, we can feel like we are by ourselves. We can feel like we are on our own. We are way down with hopelessness. Sometimes in the midst of all that, we need a reminder that no matter what is going on, the Lord is blessing me right now. Oh, right now. I'm sick, but the Lord is blessing me right now. I'm, I, I'm sad, but the Lord is blessing me right now. I'm lonely, I'm depressed, I'm worried, but the Lord is blessing me right now. I'm confused, but the Lord is blessing me right now. I'm scared, I'm heartbroken, but the Lord is blessing me right now. That's why I can imagine that David could write the 23rd Psalm, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. In this context, in other words, Yea, though I walk through the valley, the Lord is blessing me. Even though I'm in the shadow of death, the Lord is blessing me right now. When I could fear evil, I don't, because the Lord is is blessing me right now. I know that God is with me because I know the Lord is blessing me right now. I know that God's rod and staff comfort me because the Lord is blessing me right now. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because the Lord is blessing me right now. 
and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever because the Lord is blessing me right now. In the 91st division of Psalm that I read, it, it, that's a Psalm that is attributed to David. I'm sorry, to Moses. And David included it in his collection of Psalms. It's a Psalm that many spiritual sequels reference in times of hardships. Biblical scholars believe that this Psalm was written or recited on the day that Moses completed the tabernacle with God's children in the wilderness that took seven years to complete. These children of God survived years in slavery in Egypt. They survived plague after plague. They survived a scary exodus from their homes. They survived a Red Sea experience. They survived wandering in the wilderness where at times they didn't have adequate food or water, but the Lord was blessing them and provided every single time. Yet after years of violence and trauma and displacement, they had to, within that transitional period in the wilderness, within that 40 years, they had to spend seven to build a tabernacle, a temporary place of worship, a church, as it were, to worship God. Imagine the complaining that Moses had to hear, the difficulties that Moses had to face mobilizing people to find the materials to construct the edifice in the way that God wanted. Imagine their words at the time. Imagine the resources that they had to exert and the work that they had to put in just to build something temporary. After years of work and thousands and thousands of hours of preparation, Moses entered the temple and declared, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, God is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Moses had led people through many difficult situations and circumstances, and the building of the temple was just one more of them. Yet when it was done, Moses entered and sang, preached, proclaimed, perhaps to those around him or perhaps just to himself, the Lord is blessing me. The Lord is blessing me. The Lord is blessing me right now. In Jewish thought, Psalm 91 conveys the themes of God's protection and rescue from danger. Moses was believed to have recited those words as protection from the angels of destruction. The Psalm references many types of demons that threaten people, including terror and arrow and pestilence and destruction. The Psalm was even in the late antique period written in amulets or good luck charms by both Jews and Christians. Alexander uh, Kirkpatrick, who was a theologian and a Cambridge University Hebrew professor and Bible commentator wrote that this exquisite psalm may no doubt simply describe the security of godly human, of the godly human under Jehovah's protection amid the perils of their journey through life. In other words, this psalm talks about what it means to have God and yet still go through stuff. So whenever you are going through whatever you are going through, something that Moses taught us is there, that there is rest with the Almighty because God is our refuge and our trust. The gospel song gave us a simple mantra, the Lord is blessing me right now. Whenever you find life difficult, Whenever you find the load hard to bear, wherever you find the steps hard to take, whenever you find it hard to get out of bed, whenever you find yourself going through anything that's difficult, struggling to get through what you're going through, just remind yourself that no matter how bad something looks in this moment, the Lord is blessing me. You say it to yourself, you say it to your situation, you say it to those arrows, you say it to those that energy, those thoughts that are trying to take you out right now. Oh, right now, the Lord is blessing me right now. Take care, God bless. Follow me, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. 
uh, at Rev Derek Terry. Love you. God bless.